Joining our conversation, the aforementioned Tara Palmieri, co-author of Politico's Playbook, who was in Cheyenne yesterday for the Matt Gates versus Liv, Liz Cheney rally. Donna and John are still yeah. with us. Tara, the, the, listen, I, I, I worked with the Cheneys. I, I would yeah. advise folks to never bet against the Cheneys, but this does look mm-hmm. like an animated part of the party there. Definitely. And I think that they see themselves now on a crusade um, for Donald Trump. Donald Trump is way more popular than she is from the people that I spoke to. And I actually went out of my way to try to find someone who would defend her. And I really couldn't. I went and then I left the rally. I went and talked to people on the street. Right. I wanted to hear what they had to say. I went to different types of shops, restaurants, everything. I talked to ranchers and literally Trump she didn't have that much name recognition considering she's a Cheney. Like a lot of people just thought she was a senator or a mayor and they weren't willing to go out in the primary and vote for her. And the problem is that the people who were, who said they were going to go out and vote for her were very vehemently against her. And these were the Trump voters based. I mean, I said her name in a hardware store and someone shouted a threat. Like these people are paying very close attention to her vote. What I heard overwhelmingly from the people that were against her, she did not vote for Wyoming when she voted to impeach, and therefore she has to go. Did anyone sound to you like they were familiar with the facts of the 2020 election, that even lifelong no. Republicans like Chris Krebs have said that there was no fraud, that 92 Mm-mm. judges appointed by Democrats and Republicans, including Trump, found no fraud, that, that it wasn't real? Nicole, I literally, people wouldn't talk to me with my mask on. They think COVID is the numbers are grossly inflated. I had three guys, three ranchers in their 70s telling me, take your mask off. We don't want to talk to you without your mask on. Um, I was in rooms with 30 people, no one wearing a mask inside, just me. Um, I talked, they, 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 these, are, these are the main arguments I've heard over and over again. People aren't going to get vaccinated there. This isn't just a minority issue. These people are distrustful of the vaccine. Um, they think that either the um, insurrection was staged it was Antifa. They don't watch the news. They don't want to hear about it because it pollutes their thoughts about Trump. Um, and, you know, it's just the same talking points that you're hearing from QAnon and Trump supporters and and their gospel. Like, I couldn't say anything. I was like, do you know anyone who died from COVID? Because I do. You know, and they just like they, it, you couldn't reason. You know, it was hard. It was really difficult for me because. You can't. They're looking at you, too. You're a reporter coming in right from Washington to get your um, get a feeling of the the pulse. But I truly felt that I couldn't find anyone to really defend Liz Cheney. It doesn't mean that she'll be primaried. The primary is in August 2022. Right. Like, that's a long time from now. But if the primary were in 2021, I think she'd be in a lot of trouble. And then I also met people from Jackson Hole, like these kind of, you know, soccer moms driving six hours together with their teenage daughters to come out against Liz Cheney. And, you know, they weren't wearing masks. And when I asked them why they were wearing masks, they said everyone got COVID in Jackson all over Christmas. Right. And that their kids weren't going to be vaccinated. I just saw like the mask. This mask issue was definitely hanging over it. And this kind of belief in the conspiracies. And um, you could pretty much you would know right away if you talked to someone without a mask on what they were going to think about Donald Trump. And Even people that I saw sort of wearing masks, they had to for their jobs. They said, you know, Liz Cheney did not represent us. And they have really strong feelings about it. And then the other people, they just have no feelings at all. And those people don't vote vote in primaries. So she's got to get out there, I think, in her district, um, because this is a crusade for Trump now. Tara, did you feel safe? (laughs) Yeah, uh, that's a good question, actually. Um, not really. Um, I will admit I took my mask off a few times because I felt like I needed to get these people to talk to me. I didn't think like if I I didn't want to come off as some like big city reporter brat. You know what I'm saying? Um, I wanted to like mm-hmm. get like really get the, the word. I really wanted to find out what they thought. And so, yeah, I took off my mask a few times in outside um, and I talked to people really close. I was in rooms with, you know, 30 plus people size of a hotel room and um I don't know, like check in with me in five days. I don't know. I might have kept COVID for all I know. Um, But I don't know. It's crazy. It's really crazy. And, you know, Matt Gates, he has antibodies. That's why he was out there with his, without his mask on. I asked about this. Like, why isn't he wearing his mask? He has antibodies. Antibody is the new vaccine, I think, in the Trump crowd because they all got COVID. 
Um, but it was, it was something else. Um, and I, I, I hate that they're so distrustful. Like I was like, I know people who have died of COVID. One guy told me that he got COVID and he had worse hangovers than COVID. So it's just like, it's just not penetrating out there in the same way. And, you know, it's just so it's a, it's kind of a, it's a, it feels like a, another world, but that's, that's what, that's what's on the ground. And I don't think we can ignore it. And I'm really happy I went out there and saw it because I think there's a huge disconnect right now between Washington and um, the rest of the country. And Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.